and welcome back everyone to night some developments and this is actually part three of my 2025 fps tutorial series as you remember from the last two parts we ended up with a simple view model and then we made a simple switching system for our weapons and in this video as you guys requested we're going over a simple uh, aim down sight system it's a super easy tutorial where all you're gonna have to do is just add an aim component to both of your view models and then just copy and paste some code that i'm providing for you if you have any questions comment down below this video was inspired by xerdev go ahead and subscribe to his channel as well and then let's get into the video and we're gonna go ahead and continue exactly where we left off last time so this tutorial is going to be in two main parts basically first we're going to add a simple aim component to both of our view models to where your character is going to be looking through and then just copy and paste some code so first of all open up replicated storage view models and that's where your current view models are stored so go ahead and select those and drag them into the workplace workspace and then you should see them pop up right here you can go ahead and actually delete the old ones since you don't need those anymore and i would recommend moving these somewhere with a lot of space since you will be working on them and you do want to be careful so you're gonna go ahead and start off by just selecting your view model you're gonna open it up and i will do the rifle first since this is a little bit more of a harder one and then the pistol is a little bit easier so i'll do the rifle first but it is the same process for both view models you're gonna go ahead and find main and then you're just gonna duplicate it i click ctrl d if you don't know and then you will go ahead and select all of the welds and joints that are stored in this duplicated part and just going to go ahead and delete those and then you're going to uh, rename this main into aim part please make sure that you spell it exactly like i have it here a is capital and p is capital if you don't it will not be compatible with the code now you see this aim part is sitting where the main is so in the hand and to make the process a little bit easier uh, to where you're going to reposition it you're going to quickly find your rear scope i usually just have it right here you're going to scroll down to wherever the position is so right here you're going to copy that and then you're going to go back to the aim part and then you're going to set its position to basically whatever that reset is. So click paste and then click enter. And you should see it move into the aim part. Now, very important, very important, right? Before we'll, we'll actually set it up, we're going to go to the humanoid root part. Oh, wait, no. The fake camera. And it has a cam part component. So what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate the camp part component. This is very important. Take the duplicated one and put it into the aim part. Basically, what you did there is you gave this little part an ability to um, for your player to look through, which is basically the aim direction. And then we're going to test out where the camera right now is looking by using the camera locker plugin. And I will... Uh, link it down below but if you're following this series you obviously have it so if you click that okay i actually have no clue where this is looking so we'll exit out and try to understand and if i had to guess it's probably that way so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna quickly take the import model rotate and i basically wanted to set looking forward like where the bullets will be shooting and then once again just go to plugin camera locker that's the right direction but now we have to set it to where you think the character would be aiming so take the aim part go to model move and then just move it i don't know right about where the stock is i think and then you can kind of try and predict where it'll be looking you can kind of use this blue arrow for Kind of an idea but basically the whole thing is just you going back and forth between the camera locker and the aim part in order to find that perfect that 
perfect scope. So try that. I will just quickly do this and I'll be right back. One eternity later. Finally. Okay. So I'll show you guys the values and I'll show you um, a quick issue that I found, but it's easy to fix, right? Especially for you since I did it for you. So basically for the aim part, your position coordinates are these right here, these right here. Make sure, I mean, you don't have to do these, but if you're doing the same gun as me and you're pretty much just following the tutorial, these are your coordinates, just copy those. And then very, very, very important. I noticed that the gun actually came slightly crooked since they didn't center the rear sight perfectly correctly. So. If you're doing a different gun, this probably doesn't matter. But if you're doing the same one as me, I noticed this issue. And I actually fixed it by... You're going to go to the rear sight. And then you're going to set its position to this right here. So make sure rear sight positions this. And then the aim part position... Is this. If you're doing the same gun as me. So now we're going to quickly rig them. And then if you did end up changing the position of the rear sight like I just did, you're going to have to rig that part too, and it's two clicks, super easy. Okay, so let's rig this. And by the way, this is how it came out. I think that's pretty much perfect. So you're gonna go click your view model, open up plugins, rig it light. Then you're going to go down, I mean, you're going to go to humanoid root part right here. Hold control on your keyboard, click aim part, and you're going to create a joint, not a weld, a joint. Now, if you did move the rear sight, if you remember moving the rear sight because it was off, go to main. And then as you can see, the rear sight connection has actually disappeared. You have rear sight adjust, but no rear sight connection. I mean, yeah, rear sight connection. So you're going to quickly fix that by clicking main. Then you're going to hold control on your keyboard, select rear sight. And then you're going to create a weld, not a joint, a weld. So weld those together. And then I actually noticed something really that a mistake that I made in literally the first video. Very, very important. Once again, if you miss this, you might have issues later on. There are two connectors. So I by accident actually named two parts connectors. And that's not going to work if I will animate this later. So, uh, if you're using the same gun, if you're not, this doesn't apply to you. But if you do, rename this into anything but connector. And I actually believe that's, um, what is that? Maybe a mag release? What is this? Yeah, a mag release. So quickly go ahead, write mag release here. Click enter. And then um, find whichever one of these was actually responsible for this part, I believe it's this one. So, um, mag release, right? You can actually test this by moving it in the game, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to quickly guess. So, I believe it's um, just going to go on this side here. Uh, it is this connector. So, what you're going to do is click delete. So, get rid of that. And then go to... Once again, main, hold control and keyboard, and then select the renamed mag release, right? And then just create a weld, not a joint, a weld. That basically fixes the issue. And you actually did finish this model. And then you're going to basically repeat the same process for your pistol. So it's going to be a little faster because it's literally just copy and move. So you're going to go to aim part from this gun. Click control duplicate. Uh, take this duplicated component and then just throw this into the pistol view model. And as you can see, I can just move this over there. Right? Quickly close the old one. Take the aim part. And then I'm actually going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to find wherever the uh, scope is or red dot so 
quickly scroll and it's actually called slide in my case i'm gonna go to position copy that then go to import that i just brought over paste in the position click enter and then just drag it back and up and then see how that looks wow basically perfect maybe just a tiny bit higher but that was good just point oh three so okay my locker yeah i'm just gonna leave it at that right and then if you wanted to do the same position as i just did especially if you're using the same weapon uh the coordinates would be for the pistol aim part just copy these values right here for position great now we're just going to quickly rig this so what you're going to do is once again select view model forget it light uh human root part hold control select import and create a joint not a weld a joint that's it you finish the second view model see that's why i did the rifle first it's usually a lot harder but yeah you did finish the view models so now we're gonna add the code and for you it's gonna be just simply copy and paste but before we do that take both of your view models duplicate them take the duplicated versions put them into the view models folder just to basically set them back into action and we're leaving these out here just for safety or just in case something gets lost or whatever now let's quickly go ahead to our framework client code and then you're gonna have two options you can either click the link in the description of this video to the discord server which i would recommend because it's actually in code form or you could click a link to a google document and just copy it from there as text which will be with more spaces and then you won't be able to use the number assignments okay now that we're in the proper discord channel three aiming you're gonna go ahead and quickly open up the code you want to see all of it make sure you don't scroll up or down and then as you can see there are line markers basically what these numbers mean is at what line this should be pasted and they aren't always perfect but they're a pretty good um sign so and you always copy them as blocks unless there isn't a second line so copy this go into your roblox game and then as you can see this says line eight so you're gonna go to line seven click enter and click paste you can delete these marker lines after but just make sure that this is pasted in and you could obviously reference from the video now just keep doing that this one's kind of tricky because this is just one line from 49 so go back to your game scroll to 49 and actually whoa i messed this up it's not 49 it's actually 50. go to the line that has the v set primary part c frame very important copy this line click paste as you can see it's oh uh, not 49 it is 50 but not that important just make sure it's the right v set primary part c frame line go back to the game once again copy the next block this one's going to go in at line 52 so go here go down to line 52 click enter right here enter and then paste as you can see it's actually turned out to be line 53 and not 52 uh not that big a deal but it is what it is i guess it's 53 go back to your code once more uh 93 now so copy that back to the game scroll down find line 93 right here click enter and then paste go back to the code 99 copy back to the game Go to 99, click enter, paste. You're done with the client side code. Now you're gonna go to the 
as you can see right here it says module so copy these values here don't copy this don't copy the module marker line just copy the uh these two lines of code in the game you're gonna go you have two uh module codes this should actually be empty since we didn't paste it in yet so you have two setting codes in modules and you can find this in replicated storage module codes and just go ahead you see these parentheses right here click into them and then tap enter twice and then just paste that in and then do the same thing for your other view model paste those in basically this is the aim smooth this is just how fast your gun will be aimed and for pistols i like to set it a uh, half a second faster or however smoother basically you're done click play as you can see when i click aim my gun aims i can switch and aim this one aims as well there you go that's the whole tutorial in the next video we're going to go over um weapon sway basically when you aim and you turn sides the gun will sway around and as well as we're gonna add sprinting sway so when you walk run or do whatever the gun will sway as well as well as obviously you'll be able to sprint so that's it for the tutorial it works perfectly and now we're just going to double check for errors nothing in the output so good job i mean that's it see you in the next one